Good evening, everyone. I am so sorry that I couldn't be with you tonight for the second annual conference of the Foundation for Psychocultural Research at UCLA. But I want to thank you for giving me a chance to address you. The work that FPR and all of you are involved in is crucial to the health and well-being of Americans and people around the world. And I'm pleased that FPR has convened this conference to explore the interaction of childhood social experiences and neurobiology and their influence on a person's resilience and mental well-being throughout his or her life. I'm particularly impressed by the extraordinary group of internationally recognized researchers and scholars gathered here today from such a broad range of professional disciplines, including anthropology, psychology, neuroscience, linguistics, psychiatry, and education. I would like to send my special thanks to Rob Lemelson for both his commitment to FPR and for his inspiring work around the world. I would also like to thank the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development for their recognition of the importance of this event through their support and sponsorship. Since 2000, the FPR, Center for Culture, Brain, and Development at UCLA, has been a valuable source of interdisciplinary research, education, and training focused on how culture, social relations, and the science of the brain impact the development of individuals throughout their lives. I share a deep passion for the work of FPR and the scholarly efforts that are highlighted here at this event. I have dedicated much of my life to advocating for the health and well-being of children and families. In the aftermath of the recent tsunami disaster and in our post-9-11 world, we have become all too aware of the devastating consequences that traumatic experiences can have. Children are especially at risk when they endure terrible traumas, including abuse, neglect, bullying, and other man-made as well as natural disasters. Whether it be trauma on an individual and family level or large-scale mass devastation, we know that such experiences can leave irreparable and lasting effects on young people. That's why your work is extremely important as we try to find more effective ways to understand, assess, and assist children and families at risk. So I would like to thank FPR and all of you here tonight for your contributions through science, education, and training. As I've said before, I believe it does take a village, and I'm grateful to call all of you neighbors as we work together to promote the health and resilience of children and families here in the United States and around the world. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and God bless you and your work. Thank you and good night.